All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're talking about a really common topic, which is caring for our fig trees that are in winter storage. Do we water dormant fig trees? Do we have to care for them? What is the maintenance that is involved? In fact, I've been getting so many questions about this topic that I even created a companion guide to this video. I'll put the link in the description, but you can go to my blog, figboss.com, and you can see a really nice, well-written guide that follows along with what we're talking about here in this video today. Um, we are looking at, of course, the greenhouse behind me because this is one of my two winter storage environments for the potted fig trees. And so I've always talked about, by the way, choosing the right environment because you don't want your tree to wake up prematurely. That's actually one of the most common mistakes that I see at this time of the year is they have an environment that you guys are putting your fig trees in that's too warm. And the other most common mistake that I see is actually overwatering your fig trees. They're dormant. And so when they're dormant and they don't have any leaves on them, they're not really uptaking much water. In fact, there's already a lot of water stored in their branches. That's kind of what the fig tree does. It's like a cactus. They're so drought tolerant because they're able to store so much water in their trunks, their branches, their roots. And so watering dormant fig trees is not a requirement. However, there are certain situations where I would recommend it. And so this is one of my two storage environments. This is a six by eight Harbor Freight greenhouse. In fact, it's just really used as a storage environment. I don't use this in the spring or to give these trees a head start anymore because I have access to a big, giant commercial greenhouse now that a lot of these trees in here, there's about 40 fig trees in here, will be brought sometime in early March to that greenhouse and we'll get a really nice head start to the season. But in the meantime, I'm not really caring for these trees in any regard whatsoever. There is almost no maintenance involved because what we did before we put them into storage is we prepared them properly. And what does that mean exactly? We took our fig trees in containers and we added mulch. We mulched the top layer of every single fig tree. Now this is a, a tree that I dug up. This is a sucker from a tree that I have that I dug up and put in this pot. And so believe it or not, this is just really what is a bare rooted plant healed into some soil and the soil itself needs to be moist. But on top of the soil is extra soil, which is acting as mulch, but every single other pot in here that are the larger size trees I have and the five gallon size pots, the 10 gallon size pots, the 15 gallons, they all have layers and layers of wood chips. I get these wood chips delivered every year through chip drop and they act as a really nice way to conserve the moisture in your pots. Not only that, but I, I leave them on the patio well into the fall and even this year, we didn't put them away. In fact, I didn't have to put them away at all. I didn't have to put them in winter storage one little bit. I did this uh, right around Christmas time this year. Um, and actually, uh, I could have left them out, believe it or not. And that's what has saved me a ton of work of probably 200 or so container fig trees having to move them into storage. I could have avoided that. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, and so what I did was in that time, from the time they went dormant in the fall until about Christmas, they were just sitting there on the patio and every time it rained, it was saturating the soil. And so the, the soil is really well saturated then in these containers. And so I don't have to come in here and water them a little bit extra because the soil's already saturated. And the way that you would determine, of course, when you're watering any plant is to inspect the soil and really you just want to come in here stick your finger in here and you'll see once you start moving the soil around the soil is a different color it's actually dark which means it's moist and that's what we want we don't want the soil to really dry out which it can dry out in this situation where we have a tree that's in a smaller pot doesn't have mulch on it or at least the wood chips on it uh, didn't get the same treatment and care maybe we have a tree like this in a one gallon size pot that I'll hopefully sell to you guys this upcoming spring, starting around March. But uh, you know, this pot here is a better example of maybe a tree that we should water. It's a smaller pot, they dry out easier, 
And of course, it doesn't have the wood chips here on top. But in general, I only have about another month or so um, of these trees being in winter storage. If you guys have another couple months, which typically I would in normal circumstances, um, you know, another two months at least for most people, um, then maybe I would consider coming in here in about a month or so and giving those smaller trees that don't have any mulch on them a little bit of water. But other than that, there really isn't any care. In fact, if we were to overwater them, we can very easily kill our fig trees. And that's probably the most common way that I see people uh, fail with their winter storage environment and storing these fig trees for the winter time is that either it gets too cold, the trees die because it's too cold, they overwater them, which creates root rot in the pots, and then the, the roots start to die back, then the top dies back, and you lose your fig tree that way. Or in fact, your winter storage environment is too warm. And that's exactly kind of what I've been doing here with this greenhouse is that I don't let the light come in during the day because I don't want these fig trees to wake up prematurely. In fact, the main goal of your winter storage environment is just to keep them above 15 degrees Fahrenheit at all times and to keep them below 45 to 50 at all times. If it starts getting above 50, the trees will wake up and you'll have a tree that's awake in an environment, let's say like your basement, where there's no sunlight. It's nice that this greenhouse, I could take the tarp off and the sunlight would shine in. Um, but you know, for most of us, that's not what we want. And that's really a, a great way to ruin your fig season. So if you're interested, I have videos on that. I've talked about handling uh, fig trees that wake up prematurely. I talk a lot about this winter storage here that we talk about here. Everything is covered either in video format or on my blog. And uh, I highly recommend you guys check those out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching this one. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We'll see you for the next video. Take care, everybody.